Welcome to Introducing RSS, an educational video offered in conjunction with EasyPHPWebsites.com, your go-to guide for making the most of the PHP language. My name is Jason Gilmore, and in this video I'll introduce you to RSS, discussing its importance and showing you how to create your own RSS feeds for the benefit of your website visitors. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to email me at Jason at EasyPHPWebsites.com. I'd imagine most of you visit at least 10 different websites on a regular basis. For instance, I regularly visit Yahoo Sports, Slashdot, Yahoo Finance, PHP Developer, News.com, and a wide variety of other technology-related websites. However, rather than tediously surf from one website to the next each morning, I instead fire up a web-based application known as Google Reader, which retrieves the RSS feeds associated with each of these websites. Via this application, I can peruse the latest headlines published by each of these websites, clicking upon only those links which I find interesting. Using Google Reader, I can peruse the latest headlines from all of my favorite websites, whether it's the latest headlines from the Sugar CRM team, or great insight from Chris over at phpdeveloper.org. All of the latest updates are at my fingertips. The technology behind this great convenience is Really Simple Syndication, better known as RSS, a format used to publish information in digest format. Whether you're running a personal blog or a corporate website, clearly you'll want to make RSS feeds available to your users. And thanks to the Zend Framework's Zend Feed component, creating RSS feeds is a pretty trivial task. In the next section of this presentation, I'll show you how this is done. The Zend Feed component makes it trivial to build your own RSS feed. As an example, I'll show you how I created the popular games feed on the Game Nomad website. If you head over to GameNomad.com, you can click on the Popular tab to view a list of the most popular games tracked by Game Nomad as determined by current Amazon sales ranks. If you'd like to keep regular tabs on these ranks but not be forced to return to this page every time you want to take a look, uh, you can subscribe to the RSS feed, which is linked to from this RSS icon. Once subscribed, users will be able to keep tabs on the feed from within their RSS feed reader, as demonstrated here. If the user wants to learn more about a particular game, for instance Mario Kart Wii, all he has to do is click on the arrows and he'll be taken to the Game Nomad uh, website. So, how did I create this feed? Let's take a look at the code. To generate the feed, I create a feed generator using a typical Zen Framework controller, which I've called RSS controller, which allows me to update uh, the feed simply by calling the URL. You'll see why this is important later in the presentation. Within an action called popular, I, uh, I create the uh, code which builds the RSS feed. But first, I, I wanted to show you this init uh, method, which of course executes prior to uh, the execution of any action within this controller. Because we're not rendering anything to the browser itself, I uh, disable the layout that would otherwise render when the action is called, and I also um, tell the Zen framework that there is no uh, accompanying view for every action in this controller. I then retrieve my uh, any configuration variables that I need and I also uh, use a simple password protection scheme to prevent uh, outside access un unless you're able to authenticate. Um, for purposes of this demonstration I have set the uh, username to web user and the password to secret and um, uh, anybody who attempts to access this particular uh, controller will need to supply those credentials prior to um, causing any actions to execute. So on to the popular uh, action. Uh, I start by declaring an array which will store the latest feed entries. Then using my game model I uh, create a new game object and then I uh, use a custom method that I uh, built or that I added to that model called get latest sales ranks and I, I want the top 25 ranks. Then I cycle through 
each um, entry in this returned array, peeling off the title and the uh, the game title that is and the game platform. Uh, I also uh, create a link which gives the re the uh, RSS user the ability to uh, click on those arrows that you you just saw and be taken to the games page. And uh, finally just a short description which includes the games uh, sales rank. I then push that uh, row onto the entries array. That continues until we've gone through all 25 rankings. Next, I want to create some general information uh, attached to that RSS feed, uh, including a title, a link to the page that corresponds to the RSS feed, which was the, the popular um, page that you saw earlier. I set the uh, default character set, which is um, fine for our purposes. And finally, I attach that entries array to this entries key. Uh, next, this is where the Zend uh, feed component comes into the picture. Uh, using the import array method, we convert the uh, feed data, which was created here, into an RSS format. So this handles that, all of that whole complex task for you. Uh, next, we call save XML, which dumps the feed contents to this variable, RSS feed. Um, next, we uh, write, or we actually we open a, um, a handle to uh, a file uh, name, which is just defined in our config file, and uh, this happens to reside in uh, slash public slash RSS. We open that for write purposes, and we just write the feed to the file and uh, per usual we close that file handle and uh, and that's it that's all you really need so to recap you're going to retrieve the information you want to include in the feed you're going to build uh, an array consisting of uh, each row that would appear in the feed you're going to create some general RSS information um, including the title and the link things like that you're going to uh, convert that array into RSS format and then you're going to save that RSS feed uh, to a variable and then write that variable to a file and that's it. Of course this feed is only going to be useful if it's regularly updated with the latest games and sales ranks. To update it I've created a cron entry which accesses the URL pointing to the, uh, the, the action that builds the RSS feed popular. Uh, each time this URL is retrieved, the RSS file is updated with the latest data. And that uh, cron entry is shown here. Um, this entry executes every day at uh, 1 a.m. in this case. If you're not familiar with cron or curl, check out the video Accessing Password Protected Controller Actions Using Cron and Curl, curl which is included uh, on the website. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to RSS and the overview regarding how to build your own RSS feeds with the Zend feed component. If you're watching this video in conjunction with the book Easy PHP Websites with the Zend Framework, I suggest continuing your learning by reading the next chapter and watching some of the other videos. If you're not familiar with EasyPHPWebsites.com, come on over and check us out. In addition to free videos, you can learn more about my two latest books, including Easy PHP Websites with the Zend Framework and the best-selling Beginning PHP and MySQL, now in its third edition.